esteemed issues uh, person, eminent academic professor uh, Devasis Bandhavadhyay, uh, professor of English at uh, Rabindrapati University, and a full grade scholar of USA, and our esteemed professor Devendra Pandey, the Dean School of Language, he is also full bred as scholar of USA. And the uh, convener, uh, Madam Professor Devanjal Roy, all my esteemed colleagues, the faculty members, staff members of School of Language who are here, and dear students, a very good morning. I am very happy to be here. Uh, in this inaugural ceremony of the workshop uh, that is on psychoanalytic harmonetics, uh, reading literal and cultural. First of all, let me uh, uh, let me. I I, uh, I want you should excuse me for the late uh, because of me. Uh, I see your your program. Start from 10 o'clock, I actually So please forgive me. I beg apology um, on behalf of the university to our esteemed uh, uh, So, on behalf of the university, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome all of you. It's my honor and pleasure to welcome our uh, esteemed uh, research person guest. Uh, Professor Bandapadhyay and I am also like to convey my sincere gratitude to him, to Professor Bandapadhyay for accepting our invitation on behalf of the university to be here or uh, to present uh, here as the resource person of this two days uh, workshop which is as mentioned by uh, Professor Devanjali and your uh, student friends that this is about to be the first workshop physically uh, which is uh, which is going to organize or which is already organized by your school of our language because because this this school actually uh, started uh, or you can say it's a new school which started in just uh, two years before though the school of language uh, is from the beginning of this university but uh, previously uh, it's mainly uh, the school conducted different uh, languages of the programs different language certificate courses and all those things but the degree program actually started since last year that's why as they have mentioned that uh, it, 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 it um, that it's the physically or you can say that this is the first program uh, of the school. So that's why uh, my, my it's, it's a congratulations to the school, congratulations to the dean of the school, congratulations to all the faculty members and the students that uh, to start this workshop. And I wish, I not the beginning, I wish a lot more workshop and seminar conferences the school will conduct, though this is the first beginning. And when the beginning is so nice, okay, the beginning when so nice, that means, um, that means it will go on and I wish lot more will come in the next um, year. Uh, for the information of our uh, esteemed guest or research person, let me inform you that actually this university has created an ecosystem to promote uh, research and innovation um, by uh, through you can say technology business incubator TBI through central research facility and as well as there are so many research uh, labs in different schools of the university. Recently, in just two, uh, two within these two three years, the university has funded nearly 200 tours of the central research facility to promote the interdisciplinary research. Uh, that's why because, because here, here the university is having more than, uh, having 25 uh, schools. 
uh, as well as almost all the programs the uh, university is uh, conducted or all the number of programs are here nearly 150 plus programs are here that's a uh, the interdisciplinary research like um, bio, uh, biotechnology, the medicine, uh, computer science, electronics, mechanical, dental. So all they, they, they are uh, in an interdisciplinary way. Um, we are organizing or we are conducting uh, the central uh, the research. Uh, and that's the reason uh, for the last two years, uh, the university has uh, received the number one self-financing university or number one self-financing institute by the author ranking for innovation or innovation and research. That's the reason. Uh, so my, my urge also, my request also to the faculty member of the School of Language, okay, you, you should also start this interdisciplinary research because you have so many labs. Uh, here in the inter one interdisciplinary research lab also has started in this central research facility that digital humanities. So you also come with some new idea uh, so, so that we, uh, you can start the interdisciplinary research with other schools, with other colleagues of uh, the, those schools uh, which is present here. Also, as you know, this university is uh, integrating professional education with social concerns because our, our honorable founder uh, Professor Archit Saman said, um, because of him, or you can say, the university is progressing dynamically under his charismatic uh, leadership. And uh, he is always happy, uh, or he, you can say, he is the instrumental to promote this uh, research and innovation through this workshop seminar conference. That's why he every time, every year, or you can say, every day also, because Today itself also there are three four workshop seminars are uh, like one um, conference is going on which is based on the library conference uh, that is going on just near to this uh, campus that is in the auditorium that is going on and this one there is another student function is TEDx is also today there. So that's a every day here number of conferences or, um, or seminars workshops are there. So my also sincere advice to all the students, be part of all those things, okay, so that uh, you will enhance your knowledge. Okay. So here not only you are here for the academics, because academics is part of it, that is required. Based upon that you will get the degree. As well as also it is required uh, to know about the university, to never know about uh, the outside of the university, so be part of all those activities, curricular, extracurricular, co-curricular, all those activities which are organized or organizing by the school, organizing by the university, which is going to organize by the, you can say, by the student activity center, be part of all those things, so that you, you, you will know or, or your, your knowledge will be enhanced. And this is the university where you can say more than 30,000 students are studying uh, uh, almost all the students from almost all the states and as well as uh, nearly 60 for, um, foreign country students are here. Now you can see those uh, students greet us from um, Bhutan. All the students are from Bhutan or some students from Nepal for us? Uh, Uganda. So you can see in one school when there are students from uh, three four countries. So, so that's why uh, this is this is the ecosystem created by the university. So, let me come to this topic. Actually, I don't have so many knowledge on this uh, topic. So, better I should pass it to the, our uh, dean school of language to uh, give it. Uh, oh, or speak on this topic and as well as the resource person is with you for the two days for today and tomorrow so he will um, he will, will give because there are four sessions which I have seen there are four sessions in the four session uh, he will enlighten about the topic so that's why better I should not take much time of yours I know to organize any conference or workshop, how much pain, 
uh, the organizers usually take. So on behalf of the university, I earnestly thank the organizing team, the convener and the student conveners, the students who are part of this organizing team. So thank you all. Wish all the best for the conference. I hope you will learn something in this workshop. So thank you all. Thank you. We have with us another pioneer and leading figure under whose leadership Good Kids School of Languages is flourishing day by day. A father figure to us all, our very own dean sir, Dr. Birendra Pandey. Dr. Pandey has over 34 years of teaching experience and has supervised a dozen PhD dissertations. He is a Fulbright Scholar from the State University of New York, Stony Brook. Honorable Registrar, uh, Professor Dr. Kyamdan Pandey. Special guest Professor Dr. Devasis Pandopadhyay, Convener of the Program, Professor Devanjali Rowa, members of the faculty and staff, Pitti School of Language, and my dear students. First of all, let us thank God the Almighty who has given us His grace and guidance so that the workshop seminar be held successfully in our platform. Kitty School of Language, relatively a new school at Kit, has in recent months uh, received unwavering support from our beloved founder, uh, Sri Pachit Saman Prasad, Madam Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Sasmita Rani Shaman, and Honorable Ray Star, sir, who has always uh, helped me whenever I have uh, looked for any support. He has immediately responded. And thank you, sir, for that. Encouraged by their support, Kitty School of Language has in recent months taken decisive steps to upgrade uh, so that uh, its vision of making a cut above the rest of their schools, at least in the eastern part of India, that dream of the kit, man kit management is realized. KIT uh, School of Language has been working uh, in this direction quite for a few months, and uh, in this correction, uh, in this correction, we have introduced significant changes in our syllabus and uh, our pedagogy. Besides making uh, room for a number of extracurricular and co-curricular activities, which not only bring the hidden talents of our students to light but also encourage them to hone in these special talents further. Keshaw is in the process of completing a redirection and reorientation of its curriculum of study to make it fully gel with the thrust of the key schools of KIT, which have earned our university the status of eminence, both nationally and internationally. Our curricula that we are in the process of, uh, you know, completing, revising, the revision is in the process of being completed and is going to be implemented from the new academic session. This curricula is targeted to facilitate our graduates' employment in areas such as teaching, journalism, content writing for commerce and industry, and research of interdisciplinary nature. I welcome all of you to this workshop which school of language is starting, with which school of language is starts, starting its entry into the kit tradition. This university has a tradition of supplementing uh, classroom study with cutting edge knowledge in their specialized field. Uh, in the present case, in our case, uh, I'm talking of, uh, talking with reference to this seminar, what's up seminar a specialized field of psychoanalysis and literature that an inter uh, internationally recognized expert, Professor Devasis Pandapadhyay, a full writer like me, is going to share with us. Uh, the verb starting may seem to be a misnomer uh, to those who participated in a day-long webinar on critical thinking wherein where two experts particularly demonstrated to you uh, with the application of two different sets of user-friendly tools, how to infuse your analysis with critical thinking. 
but as I intend to imply, that was an online activity. This workshop is the very first offline effort by our school, and here I cannot but appreciate Professor Devendri Roy, who took the initiative to be a convener of this special program. She has left no stone unturned in making this event happen. Uh, so all of you uh, must give her, you know, a clap of hands. Psychoanalytic concepts have become such a common part of our everyday lives that most of the time we do not even realize that we have behaved in an abnormal way. For example, whenever you have done that kind of a class bit of yours, you are basically transferring your own similar weakness or desire. Psychoanalytical, uh, psychoanalytical concepts such as sibling reliability, inferiority complexes, and defense mechanisms are in such common use that most of us feel uh, we know what they mean without ever having understood them hermeneutically. A lack of hermeneutic understanding leaves you with a very simplistic idea of what these concepts mean. Uh, but you know these psychological concepts constitute the bread and butter for critics and students of literature, just as new criticism has been for years. Psychoanalytical criticism is, you know, as common as new criticism. Uh, the workshop, I am sure, will succeed in taking you beyond the realm of commonplace familiarity to a deeper understanding of the psychoanalytical concept of Sigmund Freud, Jacques Lacan, and others so that you may become able to use this concept with ease and facility in your analysis of literature. One thing you must have marked that since I have taken over uh, as, as the dean of, dean of your school, I have uh, uh, reoriented you towards a critical analysis, right? Even forcing you to do critical analysis in your, uh, the, what do you say that, uh, monthly CIA, in your CIA, and of course, yeah, as you might have seen, uh, the nature of the questions that you have been getting in the examination has changed. And I'm very happy to report that uh, I looked at your uh, answers, you know, uh, the critical thinking tools which I had asked you to apply, and I was like, very much satisfied uh, by the quality of your answer. So, uh, that gives me the confidence that the school is heading in the right direction. Okay, so at the end, I especially thank the organizing committee comprising of our students and our staff members for their hard work in preparing and organizing this workshop so that it can go smoothly and successfully. Thank you. As I have said, he is the true flag bearer of KSO. Nobody could have given a better introduction of KSO than him. And sir, since you liked our assignment so much, we would receive good marks, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I would now like to call a woman who we are all eager to hear her. Her merit is unprecedented. She is the convener of the workshop. She is the undeniable iron lady of Kids School of Languages. The spine of this very workshop, Professor Devanjali Roy. Professor Roy is a true scholar. And she has many scholarships to her name, like the T.S. Sterling Scholarship for Academic Excellence in UG Studies, Professional Scholarship from Regional English Language Office U.S., the Erasmus Mundus Teacher Exchange Fellowship, which was founded by the European Union. She has extensively contributed to linguistics and gender studies through her research. Apart from this, she is a trained and a graceful Bharatanatyam dancer. She is someone who wears her heart on her sleeve for literature. She is a true appreciator of literature. Ma'am, ma may, may I please request you to come to the dais and address everyone. Um, thank you so much, Madam, for those kind words. Um, I really don't know whether um, I deserve this amount of love, but one thing um, I would like to say in this um, context that 
the day, uh, I mean, like we are having, we are gathered here for the workshop today and it would not have been possible for all of you. So I would request all of you to clap for the students, please. I know that um, we are uh, we have a time uh, we have a schedule to maintain and everything, but at the very onset of this workshop, I would really like to uh, thank uh, especially our registrar sir and our beloved dean sir for um, allowing us for this workshop for giving us all the support and uh, you know uh, the, the the frame for this workshop or this design of the workshop. I would like to thank our academy coordinator, Dr. Sahil Mohammad Dilabul Hussain, and our deputy director, Mr. Samir Das, for uh, you know basically being my right and left hand, uh, you know, in designing this workshop. I would like to thank each and every faculty member of this uh, school, and of course the student organizers. Without you, this day would not have you know come to uh, happen. And um, especially on, on a very special note, I would like to extend uh, my heartiest gratitude to Mr. Bhavani Shankar Mishra uh, for uh, arranging this entire thing single-handedly. So thank you very much, Mr. Bhavani Shankar. And uh, I, is Suniti Ma'am present here? Uh, without Suniti Ma'am, we cannot even think of uh, you know conceptualizing anything of this sort. So can we hear a All right, so it falls on me, I see, to introduce myself. Uh, and when I say myself, uh, Professor Bandhupadhyay and I share a very special bond. The bond in the sense that uh, back when I was of your age, I was an undergraduate student. Um, um, there was a very kind professor who graced the halls of Presidency College. And um, that person taught me two things in life. One, to keep dreaming no matter how difficult the world uh, you know, becomes. And number two, never to underestimate yourself. So whatever you see me, you call me Iron Lady or whatever you call me, it's because of Professor Bandhavathai. And honestly, um, I fondly call him DKD Sir, and uh, it's really a great fortune for me to stand here and uh, talk about him. Um, professor Devashish Bandhavadha is a professor of English, Rabindranath Bharati University. Uh, formerly, he was a professor of uh, Benares Hindi University and Vidya Sagar University. As a Fulbright scholar, he taught and researched in California State University, USA. And as a Charles Wallace postdoctoral fellow, he pursued research in St. Anthony's College, University of Oxford, UK. He is also an international visiting professor in Mexico. His research focus is psychoanalysis and literary and cultural studies. He is widely published in India and abroad. His book, Locating the Anglo-Indian Self in Ruskin Bond, a post-colonial review brought out by Anthem Press, Press New York, is shortlisted by Washington Higher Education Chronicle. Um, so I would now request uh, Dr. Devashish Bondapadhyay, sir, to please uh, come over and uh, deliver a short note on the workshop. Over to you, sir. Good morning, all of you. My students over here, our honorable register, our honorable team of the faculty, of the school, uh, my own student, and now your faculty, Professor Devanjali Roy, the head of the coordinator of the department, who had just left, and uh, Don Moy, and uh, Lowrod, and uh, all those who are present here, and the organizing staff. Um, I'm very grateful that uh, I have been called over here, and I could actually accept the request. I would be learning a lot of things from you as well. It's not that I'm going to speak alone. It's an interactive process to which I'm going to learn. In fact, Dibanjali knows very well that half of my learning had actually been in the classroom at the time when I had come to teach. It's not teaching, it's actually learning to myself. And I was just telling Dibanjali a while ago that half of my research, or three-fourths of my research, was generated in the classroom itself. 
and I am confident now that whatever I do in the classroom is something that opens up a new light to me. Why? Because suppose I am leading a very difficult staff for the first time and I have got plucked at some place. I know very well that if nothing occurs to me at that moment, a little while later when I go to the classroom, a difficult knot will be undecipherable would be deciphered at any moment. This is the kind of confidence that teaching or interaction with students give me. So the two days workshop, I don't know exactly what sort of a justice can I do for this because I have never been in such a sort of a psychoanalytic workshop. I've been trying to understand the grapple with psychoanalysis for almost 10 years now. It's very difficult uh, mm, uh, discipline to work with because especially what happens in the mind and how the mind is related to the body parts is very difficult to understand. Even doctors cannot decipher it. So we are going to, we will try together to understand what happens to the mind. It is your interactions, your understanding which will actually fertilize me more. Because I do not understand minds the way you understand your minds perhaps. But one thing definitely we will try to deliver through this workshop is to become conscious of things that hitherto we were unconscious of. That is what is so very important to understand. Once you become conscious of things that you were unconscious, then you will understand, oh my goodness, this had been working within me. That's why I behaved in that manner. This is something that I should have been alert before, before any ideology, any particular external forces had been capable of inducing me to do the thing. So the next time, after the workshop, I am definite, once you go out, no people can motivate you in the way in which they require to motivate you. You have your own consciousness, your own identity, your own self-confidence to negotiate with whatever other external forces look for. That is exactly that what we are going to understand. This is the clinical aspect of the workshop. The most important is, however, the hermeneutic aspect of the workshop. What is hermeneutic? Hermeneutics deals with the theory of criticism. Most of you must be students of literature and humanities. So what is most necessary for you not to understand clinical mindsets of people, but clinical mindsets of authors? the texts that you are going to read. So how to go about deciphering texts, the decoding texts from a different point of view, and how psychoanalytic theory gives you an instrument to understand things, discover things within text, text which no other theories can actually provide you. You will understand the ideas of the author, if there is anything called the author, from the text itself. There is no other author who lives outside the text. Whoever is the subject within the text, we are going to discover what a subject is, we define the notion of a subject. There is no self within a text, there is a subject within a text. What is the difference between a self and a subject? Uh, something that we are going to understand or try to understand through the next few hours, today and tomorrow. So that we are all going to do uh, when we start working on um, after the performance the tea break okay after the tea break so waiting for your patient interaction and i think it is going to be a success i've come here with a lot of expectations with the cosmopolitan state of uh, students over here cosmopolitan set of interactors over here people coming from different other countries from other cultural and social setups are also going to put in their feedback, which we as Indians, as Bangalis, or as Indians, or as people from Bihar do not understand themselves. There are different kinds of feedbacks that people from Bhutan, people from Uganda, people from other different countries and cultures are going to have. Let us look forward to one of the most vibrant workshops ever you have actually participated.